So currently, what I'm driving through right now used to be a city called Anderson Flat. Yes, there used to be a city here. It's kind of like Carden Bottoms, which I did do a video on. It's kind of like that. You know, everything's, everything's pretty much overgrown. You got kind of the same road. It's all bumpy and gravelly and whatnot. But this used to be a, like, like, a, like a small back, back road town. I don't know the population, to be honest, but it does exist. Uh, or it did exist, rather, my bad. Uh, there's a cemetery, which I will show you guys later. And there is also a uh, one-room schoolhouse that, that I will also show you here in a bit. But driving through it, yeah, this is pretty much what you see. This, this is literally it, pretty much. Actually, having to go super slow right now. I said, oh, hello. Thank God I have a four-wheel drive. It's like I said when I did the uh, Cardin Bottoms video. Um, there used to be so much more here, but now you but now you don't see it. You don't realize that there was so much more here, but there is, and there was. But now it's pretty much nothing. Nothing but like long back dirt roads and a lot of the forest that surround you. cemetery. Yeah, it's a pretty good size one. Now, this is a church and this also is a church. Uh, both of these buildings are still in use, but like I said, uh, nobody actually lives in the actual city of Anderson Flat. So people probably come from outside of the city somewhere. But these two buildings are still in use. Now there are these two graves up here. Let's say, hi granddaddy. Cement floor built. 2000 in memory of James Lester Martin by his kids and then there's another one right here Let's see cement floor 2003 in memory of C Cecil and Don Tre Tremill 
think that's how you say it, by his kids and May Morris Baker by her daughters. Where did it say the same thing on the other side? Oh. Pavilion built 2003 in memory of Veal Anderson by Rick Sandy Trick Trey. Huh. There are a lot of Andersons in there, like in the actual cemetery, but I don't know exactly uh, who the cemetery is named after. Pavilion built 2000 in memory of J.R. Anderson, Rick Sandy. Okay, no, it didn't. I will say this. At least there's maintenance on this yard. At least it's not overgrown. Now, like I said before, there are a lot of Andersons here, like these people, for instance. Like, walking all along through the cemetery, I found, I say, seven or eight Andersons so far. I don't know how much are in here. But I don't know who the cemetery is named after that. I have no idea. But apparently Anderson's a really popular name here. Now that right there, that is the one-room schoolhouse. Obviously, I can't get to it. But yeah, it's just sitting just right out here in the field. That's the only two I've seen so far. 